Now it's time to change my leaky LS1 main seal. To start off, the two small oil pan bolts are removed. Then the rest of the main seal cover is unbolted. With the bolts removed, the cover just pops right off. The main seal can be pried out with a screwdriver. The cover has three notches in the aluminum casting where you can fit a screwdriver or a pick that will remove the main seal. And now is a good time to clean up the cover. There are a few brands available, but I chose this Felpro one. You'll also need some oil resistant RTV and it's imperative that you have an LS seal alignment tool. Don't bother trying to do this without the alignment tool because it's not going to work properly. A quick wipe with the solvent cleans up the gasket surface. Each corner gets a small dab of RTV and if the oil pan gasket is old, you can put a line of RTV on the lower part of the gasket. With the new gasket installed, the cover is then bolted back up. The bolts are snugged up but not fully tightened. Sometimes the two small bolts on the bottom of the oil pan will need a little bit of tension for the tool to fit properly. The alignment tool is lightly tapped in. Once the tool is installed, the bolts can be torqued down in a criss-cross pattern. If the cover is aligned correctly, the tool should go in without much effort. And now the main seal. On the main seal itself, there are very small markings that shows the orientation, but there's very small lettering that says outside. The seal is installed dry, then the alignment tool is used to tap the seal into place. And that's it. I hope you liked this very quick video. If you did, please remember to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram.